this week you're going to be working more with charts. So you are going to be customizing data series. You're going to be learning how to change the data source, which is what you are generating the chart on. You're also going to learn how to add chart styles, add different elements to charts, how to format the axes, uh, which is your X and Y axis. Uh, you'll learn how to create a combination chart, which is typically a bar and line, although there are other chart types you can combine as well. Uh, you'll learn how to do a spark line chart, uh, which doesn't have as much detail. Those are typically added as a column uh, at the end of spreadsheet data, and they're to show more general trends and kind of information at a glance. Uh, so you're going to be covering basically all sorts of different ways to customize charts this week, uh, which most students find uh, to be kind of fun. Uh, so that will be the material that you're covering. Uh, and as always, uh, there's the chapter to go through, uh, and then you can download the files that go with it. Uh, once you finish that, there is a uh, discussion on enhancing charts that you are going to participate in. Uh, there are the training and the testing exercises in addition to the quiz. And then the project is extra credit and optional. Um, another thing that you will notice this week, and this is at the top of the course, is that uh, there is extra credit for doing the test of everyday reasoning with numeracy. And you should have received an email with information uh, regarding your username and your password and a link that will take you to uh, directions. And those directions include a link to the site that you need to go to to take the test. Uh, and even if you took the test last year, you need to take it again this year. And you'll notice that uh, it's much more flexible in how it is delivering the test this year. You can, you can do it on any PC platform. You can actually do it right in the browser. Uh, you can use your phone. You can use your iPad. Uh, all sorts of different ways to take the test. Uh, and you only have to take it once. And uh, for me, it does not matter if you took it for another class. Uh, what I want you to do is come into the Dropbox and then add a submission and just say done uh, because I will be able to pull your results. Okay, so uh, even if you were assigned this in another class, I do want you to come in here and take the test. Okay, so. Uh, that is worth 20 points extra credit. So it is well worth your time to take. And if you're in any of my classes besides this one, go ahead and enter done in all of the drop boxes because you're going to get 20 points extra credit in every class where you submit done to, at least out of my classes. Uh, so that is all on tap this week. Um, this extra credit opportunity will remain uh, until the end of the semester. Uh, and periodically, I am going to go out and pull the results. Uh, and once I see that you have actually uh, taken it, I will update the score and give you the 20 points. If you have any questions at all, uh, let me know and have a great week.